Hey guys, how's it going? Uh, this video we're going to be talking about Aurora and Nelson Peltz. Not sure what I'm going to name the title of the video, but we're going to be, like I said, I promised over last week uh, that we're going to talk about. I'm going to be making a more dedicated video on Nelson Peltz. What the hell is Nelson Peltz doing? You know, is Nelson Peltz still involved with the company? My thoughts, what's his plan? Everything we're going to be discussing in this video, I would also appreciate a thumbs up for this video. It might help my channel grow, or it might help my video game promoted more by YouTube, maybe, probably not, but who knows. So, but I still would appreciate a thumbs up, but if you want to give me a thumbs down, that's okay too. Anyways, Aurora appoints Nelson Peltz as a strategic advisor. This was made on March 13th, 2019 at 7 a.m. Eastern. Uh, so that would be around 8 or 9 o'clock, uh, just before the market opened. Uh, so this, is, this big piece of news caused the stock to go whoop all the way up to, I believe, 13 bucks. Before and then this is when I was yelling sell 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 and uh, or rather not sell 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 but I I told you that you know I I believe that Aurora stock was gonna go down, but everyone was like oh Aurora's going to the moon going to the moon, but uh, I did not believe that I believe that it was overvalued and it was gonna go down, and it did go down. So I was correct on my decision not to buy in when it was at $13. Uh, anyways, and people who did, I feel sorry for you. I do. I truly do. Uh, but uh, right now, like, I honestly would stay away from the company regardless. But uh, we'll be discussing it. So in this, um, in this press release, we're going to be talking about the option part of uh, uh, Nelson Peltz. So he was promised 10.34 for almost 20 million shares, but this was before the reverse split. So we take the, in the account of the reverse split, uh, 10.34 times 12. That means that in order for Nelson's Pell options to be value valuated, he they uh, Aurora stock price would need to be 124 dollars and eight cents after the reverse split. Which is still a possibility. Uh, it would require the United States to become fully legal and some big news to come out. But it's still uh, possible. And 31 to th uh, $41 Canadian would be around five to $600, uh, you know, Canadian stock price after reverse split. Uh, which is, uh, looks like it's really far out of range right now. But, uh, yeah, anyways, uh, yeah, that's not, you know, his options are completely useless right now. I mean, yeah, a, mi a miracle could happen, but right now I don't think they're thinking about that. But anyways, I'm going to go to Michael Singer. This video was made on November 15, 2019, when Michael Singer was talking about Aurora as an investment. And, uh, you know, um... So I'm going to play the video and I will talk about it. So let's, no, not Royal Investment. This is a, oh my God, I'm messing up here. This is, a, this one is about him talking about Nelson Peltz and his involvement. So I'm going to play the video and then I'm going to talk more about it. You mentioned the partnership with Nelson Peltz. It's about six months old now. Um, how is that shaping up and, you know, in terms of uh, getting additional partnerships um, in the consumer world to strengthen your business? So, so great question. Nelson continues to be very active uh, with us and, and helping us uh, in a number of discussions we have with these global CPG companies. It's actually all part of a U.S. strategy for us. We see the U.S. as an opportunity for us to use as a platform to really grow, not just in the U.S., but in this kind of the, the CPG world globally. Um, and Nelson, with his connections and obviously his, his help in, in, in helping us sort of navigate through multiple discussions with multiple partners in different industry verticals. We're confident that when we do make an announcement about how we see and how we're going to enter the U.S. market, it's going to tie together the numerous discussions we have with Nelson's help with a lot of these sort of mature CPG companies and how we're going to be able to leverage that in different industry verticals going forward. So we're very excited how about uh, an announcement when, that's, when we're ready to do so. How close are you in turning some of those discussions into actual announcements, though? 
Um, well, look, we haven't provided any guidance, but because we're talking to numerous partners in different industry verticals, we want to make sure that when we do announce it, it is clear to the market where, you know, the direction we're going. And, and again, we're going to use the U.S. as an opportunity to, as a platform, if you want, for us to really sort of explore um, and, and continue to develop out these CPG opportunities on a global scale. plan or rather Aurora announces plan is to become a global CBG, CPG MJ company that distributes products worldwide and uh, they've been talking to numerous partners but because even discussions can break down like maybe they talked about it but doesn't mean that they, they, they signed a definitive agreement. There's no definitive agreement or at least I don't think so. There could be one in the background but if there was they should have released that news to pump up the stock, but it didn't. They, it just kept selling off and selling off and selling off. And now it's now they're having a reverse split and the stock is trading a below a dollar US, about 70 cents US and about 97 cents Canadian. Uh, so, you know, things can break down. But, you know, there is some positive news. Uh, these two board... Board of Directors Lance Freeman and uh, Michael Delsfin. Supposedly, the people who, uh, so people on the internet are talking about, you know, uh, you know, Nelson Peltz basically put these two guys into the Board of Directors to help Aurora establish its uh, CBG global brand, and you know, that may be true. That that may be true. This is a tinfoil hat kind of moment. Uh, so I'm referring to Silicon Valley. If you have not seen this, I totally recommend this show. It's awesome uh, because you know people. It, it makes you understand business on a deeper level. Uh, so obviously, I think uh, right now in Aurora, the the rich shareholders, uh, Nelson Peltz, and maybe Aurora's management, they're all talking and they're all discussing a plan. And uh, their plan is probably not short term, it's probably longer term. And right now, Aurora wants to do a reverse blip because they don't want the stock to be extremely dilutive. And the best way to get rid of dilution is to do a reverse blip. So, a reverse blip is coming. And even if the, even if the stock price pop up, I still think Aurora wants to do a reverse blip regardless. So, I think, you know... A reverse split will happen in the future, uh, for sure. And I would not buy. I would not. I would not wait till my stocks get converted into reverse split. I would wait until after the reverse split is over, and then determine if I want to make an investment after the earnings report and after the reverse split has been done. So we'll see what happens, but. Uh, I still think that this reverse split is a necessary thing. So, and I think the 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 shareholders and the, the no, I'm not talking about retail and shareholders. I'm talking about the major money re, uh, the major major peop, the big big investors that are talking with Aurora right now. Those are the those are the guys that uh, are talking with Aurora, Nelson Peltz and Probably the board, uh, probably management, uh, they are talking and they probably came to the conclusion that a reverse split is necessary. Uh, so, yeah. Just like similar to Australia's, you know, Australia's was supposed to merge with Foyum Biosciences and then uh, because of, you know, certain elements they found in Foyum Biosciences, they decided to get out of bio, uh, uh, Foyum Biosciences. It, the similar thing could happen to Aurora, you know, the, the, the people who are talking to Aurora right now, they could, they could, lose, they could uh, abandon Aurora. They, that's a possibility. Not saying it, it, they are, I'm just saying there's a possibility. Similar to Harvest, you know, Harvest also had some news where uh, Verano Holdings decided to not merge with uh, Harvest Health. Uh, you know, things can break down. Things, discussions, uh, talk can go well in one uh, one day. The another day, they can totally they they can look at the the environment and they can look at at Aurora as investment and they can just say, you know, we don't think Aurora is worth it. You know, that's a possibility.
But anyways, that's it for my video. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Subscribe for future updates. And have a great day. Bye.